Hello, how you all doing? Right, it's a very late, very late at night, so I'm going to be very, very quick, and then I've got to hit the sack. Okay, so it's time that we talked about Comet Ison, isn't it? Okay, now um, I'm calling this video Comet Ison and Groundhog Day because this whole Comet Ison thing, okay, it's like coming past now any second now or in the next day or two. And it, do you know what? It feels like Comet Elinin all over again. I have seen um, videos about, um, you know, the connection with uh, Deep Impact, the movie, and uh, Comet Ison, and I've seen videos that there's UFOs following Comet Ison. I've seen videos that it's like moving in strange ways and changing directions and and you know what i'm i'm really shocked because right this is like deja vu it's like groundhog day everything is repeated from you know it was only a year ago a year ago we were all talking about comet elinin and um you know and look what happened with comet elinin um nothing I mean, it, I was really expecting something. I, I mean, I really got sucked into Comet Elinin, this whole stuff with Comet Elinin, you know? And, uh, and then it broke up and nothing more was said, you know? And, um, there was a lot of numerology and coincidences and synchronicities and weird circumstances surrounding Comet Elinin and, and, uh, it amounted to nothing. Um, well, nothing that we know of. I mean, who knows what goes on unbeknownst to us, and maybe there was some significance. Maybe it marked something, some significant thing that is kind of going on in the background that is unbeknownst to us at this time, or that we're oblivious to, I don't know. But as far as, like, visible, tangible, something that, you know, dramatic, nothing materialised, and... um and now it's all the same talk with Comet Ison, and um, I think it's either one of two things. It's either, right, that, um, you know, some, like, I don't know, sort of government agents or some Illuminati-initiated thing has been started up, initiated by them, in order to discredit um, truth-seekers and truthers, or whatever you want to call them, uh, yet again, and make them look silly and start this whole rumour thing, so that it's like throwing us off course once again, diverting our attention away from maybe some more sinister things going on in the world, you know, because, you know, it's all about distraction. You know, if something really sinister is going on, your attention is going to be diverted away from that, okay? And um, and and you, you're going to be steered, you know? I mean, it's not just the sheeple that are steered from the truth and steered and manipulated and controlled. You know, it's people who think they are be outside of that and detached from that they are equally prone to be victim to that as well, okay? So it's either that this whole Comet Eisen thing is to kind of steer us and it's been initiated by the very people that are manipulating humanity in the first place, or maybe this the Comet Elinin stuff was designed to do that so that people like myself when Comet Ison comes along, we don't take a lot of notice because we think, oh, for fuck's sake, you know, it's all going, you know, oh, man, when are we, you know, you know, here we go again, Groundhog Day, okay? So, you know, and then maybe something will kick off in some way, shape, or form, be it good or bad, I don't know. What is, what is the answer? I don't know, but I'll tell you what I do know and what I do feel is the way to go these days, okay, is basically, right, look at information and don't reach a conclusion. Information is information. Just take it in, consider it for a while, ponder it, don't really make much of a conclusion out of it, but wait and see how things pan out, you know? Now, don't get me wrong, it'd be foolish to be in the know about some terrible event, cataclysmic event, and you know for a fact, and then not do anything to prepare, that would be a bit foolhardy. Of course, you want to make preparations if you know 100%, you know, but I don't know about this, man. This, this is, uh, you know, I don't know, but we will soon find out. Yes, again, we will soon find out. Okay, and uh, so 
just a few thoughts on Comet Icing. Oh, and can I just say before I stop recording, um, please, anybody who has some in something interesting to show me regarding Comet Icing, um, any interesting information whatsoever, send me a message. Let me look at it. I'd like to see it. I'm completely open-minded. Thank you.